Hi friends, this is Audi 1 and you're watching part 11 of the SQL Lab series. In the first 10 parts, you saw the basics of SQL injection. The injection was done in the URL field or you can say in the get parameter. And we did starting from the error based injections. Then we covered the double injections blind injections boolean based blind injections time based and then we used the dump file or the out file and today we would go go further and do the injections in the post parameter so for this i have chosen lesson number 12 but you can also use lesson 11 lesson 13 lesson 14 for the same because if you see, it's also mentioned error based something, a kind of a hint. Well, what we do in the coming series or in the coming lessons would be a repetition of what we did in the get or in the earlier parts. The only difference being where we are injecting. In the earlier parts, we were injecting here in the URL, but now rather than injecting here, we will be using this form to inject. Well, people get confused between when they see a form or when they see a URL, because generally form is being considered to use as a bypass. People use it just to bypass and log in when they are testing. But the same form can be used to enumerate the database. So let's start. As we discussed earlier, that the first and the foremost thing that we need to do is to enumerate the entry points, enumerate where we are providing some kind of input. So in this case, the visible input parts are this username field and the password field. Let's try to fuzz them. Put something. So an admin admin a normal username and a password exists. So we are successfully logged in. But that is not our objective. Our objective is to first and foremost, try to see if we can break this query. Let's try to inject a single quotes. Let's try to inject a single quotes in this field as well. Nothing happens. Let's try double quotes. Let's try double quotes here. nothing happens it broke when I provided a single double quotes let's copy this and let's paste it let's clear something And let's analyze the query or rather than doing it now let's try to use the escape character that is a backslash and then see what the output is so when we used a backslash we saw clearly that there is a double quotes and there is a parenthesis and there is some output like and password something limit zero one so if we try to build up a query that the developer has used in his application it could be something like select star from a table let's call it table where username equals let me copy this
and password equals again this and they are using a function limit 0 comma 1 to limit the number of entries returned let's give it a variable name let's call it for now password pssd and username as u name so technically what we are inserting in the username field is getting replaced here and what we are inserting in the password is getting replaced here so as we see our username field is vulnerable so our first objective is to try to fix the query so that it works properly so we see that by providing a double quote it breaks and then there is a parenthesis and now there are two ways for us one is either we comment out the rest of the query or we balance so we learn both the ways today we actually have learned those in the previous chapters but we are going to re implement them in the post parameters so let's use this and i'm using a space at the back end instead of using this we can also use the hash as a comment and let's see so the query worked though we are not able to log in but somehow it did not give us an error message now the test anything that is on the left side and on the right side in between if we inject anything should be executed so let's give or one equals one and if this gets executed then the whole statement should become true and we should get in or we should be able to bypass the login and there we go we bypassed and you see that you have successfully logged in as the username dump and the password dump well for the sake of simplicity i did not use a redirector or i did not use another page where it will redirect you after the login or something so i am just using the same page to dump the output but you can assume that once you have logged in and you have logged in successfully you can be redirected to another page or another part of the application well this works so how to iterate more we can use the limit function and submit so we get the next one let's use 2 comma 1 let's use 3 comma 1 and so forth so you can dump the usernames and the passwords or you can see that if we correlate to the earlier chapters this is more kind of a error based injection where we use the error to fix the query and the backend database is interacting somehow with some part of application that is visible on screen so the username and password is visible on the screen so what we needed to do in this case we could use the union select but first thing we have to guess the number of columns being used in the query so let's do it order by let's take three and we get an error message unknown column three in order by clause let's take two then and we don't get an error that means there are two columns being referenced by the backend how the 
application is referencing to the database. Let's fix it here. So we are selecting column one, column two. Presumably it's the username and the password from table where username is something and password is something. So now let's do go it further and let's do this union select we can also use union all union select all or just union select one comma two and you see the same one and two on the screen data base and let's call version there was a typo and you see my mysql version and the database name let's enumerate further let's say union select table or let's say one comma table underscore name from information underscore schema dot tables where table underscore schema equals security and we get our first table name and we can use the limit function to enumerate more limit one comma one let me copy this we got reference let me use two comma one we got u agents and let's do it three comma one and we get users let's do a four comma one there's nothing that means there are only till users so three comma one that is users same way you can enumerate the column names using the information schema and dump the complete database now i think you would have gained some confidence and you can go ahead and proceed with the double query injection which we will cover in the next video coming back to the index lesson 11 is again error based that was in post parameter 12 is again 13 again something with some other form of injection maybe using a single bracket or maybe using two parentheses 14 is again the same thing but a double injection this time you cannot use the normal union select but you have to use the double injection we learned previously 
well we will redo that in the next video then we will do the blind or the boolean based and we will start with the injection in the update queries then we will do some header based injections and then the injection in cookies once we finish all this then I plan to update the lab to cover scenarios where some filtering is involved and where some WAF is involved some blacklist approach some keyword filtering approach or some other techniques and then we'll see how we can enumerate that and how we can go through it for now thank you very much guys please leave the feedback your feedback would help me improve and motivate me further to create more videos thank you very much bye bye